What is happening, everybody? My name is Michael, and I'm gonna show you how to make a concrete bowl out of, well, bowls. It's a very highly requested video, so let's get started. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. So let's make something cool. All right, we are gonna get all Pinteresty up in here again. You wouldn't believe how simple this is and how quick and easy and how many different projects that you can do with just a simple concrete bowl. So let's get started. The material we're gonna use is the Rapid Set Mortar Mix, of course, along with the flow control, because that's gonna make our life a lot easier. We're gonna start by cleaning these bowls up real good and spraying them down with WD-40. Wipe up the excess, make sure there's no puddling. I know, you've seen me do this a million times, right? And as usual, there's gonna be links in the description below for all the materials and tools I'm using in this video, including the exact same bowls that I'm using, but you can use any bowls you want. All right, let's mix up our concrete. You didn't know these come in 25 pound boxes, did you? <laughs> this bowl is about nine inches in diameter. I found that uh, one quart, one scoop of this stuff, is a good amount of material for this size bowl. Hook up our drill to our little paint mixing paddle. Don't forget to turn your drill down to low speed, high torque. Made a mistake in the last video with that. Thank you for making that comment, sir. We're gonna go for a peanut butter consistency. Four parts product to one part water. So there's our, our peanut butter consistency, but I wanna pour this, so that's why I'm gonna add the flow control. This will take me to like a, a pancake batter consistency like a tablespoon or two for this amount. Whatever you do, don't add more water to get that kind of consistency because you're gonna make it so much weaker. Pour it in there till it's about halfway full. Let's try that out. That's pretty much perfect. I could probably add a little more, but let's add a little more. kind of eyeball it and center it. Now, what I see a lot of people do in these concrete bowl videos is they, they, they pour some rocks in here to weigh the inner bowl down. But to me, that's too much Indiana Jones and... Very simply, take a stick, put it across the middle, make sure you're still centered, and put a couple of bricks on top. Simple as that. Now just tap it with a hammer, work those bubbles out. Who am I kidding? That was still pretty Indiana Jones, right? <laughs> you could also take a sander and vibrate the edges to work those bubble out. A lot easier, a lot quicker. I'm just too lazy to plug it in. By the way, stay tuned till the end of the video. We haven't done a giveaway in a while. I think I wanna do another giveaway. All right, we're gonna let that cook for about an hour. We're gonna flip it over and demold it very gingerly, and then we'll go from there. 
With the Rapid Set Mortar Mix, we can demold this in one hour. We could use other products like a Portland-based product, but we'd have to wait at least three days to a week to be able to demold it. And ain't nobody got time for that. All right, now we are going to gingerly take this out of the mold. Now we got some little rough edges right here. No big deal. You can use your bricks as kind of like sandpaper. And there you got it. Quick and easy concrete bowl. All right, Michael, so you've shown us how to make a concrete bowl. So what? What am I supposed to do with said bowl? The question is, what can't you do with said bowl? Come on, I'll show you. Okay, so not quite the dramatic look I was going for, not doing quite what I wanted to do, but you get the idea. One bowl is supposed to spill into the next bowl, which is supposed to spill into the next bowl. All we gotta do is play with this a little, tilt the bowls. I probably have to like groove some spouts in here or something like that. But think of how far we could take something like this just with simple concrete bowls and like six cinder blocks. But I can already see that this is going to need a video all on its own, just out of respect and uh, on, on principle alone. Maybe coat the, coat the outside in some mortar mix or something like that, make it look real good, maybe add some texture or something like that. With that being said, it is really cold and windy outside. Let's go inside the shed and let's do that giveaway, shall we? So because you guys are the best subscribers on YouTube, I wanted to do another giveaway, a 
a box of goodies, if you will. The box of goodies will include titanium drill bit set, Milwaukee impact driver set, an 11 in one tool, this is kind of cool, a Milwaukee tape measure that was obviously named after me, and a Milwaukee t-shirt, large. If that doesn't fit you, I don't know what to tell you. So there will be a link down below. We're gonna give it two weeks and then I'll announce the winner and I'll send that right off to you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please think about subscribing. I promise you won't regret it. And I'll see you in the next video.